Hey guys, this is Fabrizio here at the Driscoll for AMFM Studios. I'm here with uh, uh, Blaine Weaver. Weaver in the movie <laughs> Six, Six Month, Month Rule. Rule. Yeah. Everybody knows that the band guy is the single guy's worst nightmare. He can be broke, ugly, live in his mom's basement. If he's in a band, the guy gets hot chicks. So tell me about this movie. Um, well, it's a uh, romantic dramedy about uh, a guy who's uh, kind of a womanizer and he has all these rules on how to avoid emotional commitment, the most important being that he can get over any girl in six months. Look, girls come and go. That's just how it works. Friendship, that's the only lasting thing. It's a rule. When his best friend gets dumped, he kind of takes him under his wing and tries to teach him the ways of being a cynical bachelor. And, uh, and then he meets a girl that kind of changes things. Six month rule. So do you want to introduce uh, your cast member? Nah, can we just talk to me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well over on the end here is Vanessa Branch. Hello. And, uh, what do you play in the movie? Which I part? play Wendy, uh, which is, uh, wh what do we call me? What would you say I am? Non-committed <laughs> girl that my character The see. girl who's getting screwed over, basically. That would be me. Oh, no. Yeah. You leaving? You know the rules. Oh, right. The rules. How silly of me. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did you cast her? She's so amazing. I know. Did to make it... The conundrum, worse. right? There's yeah. the conundrum. Yeah, Boy, you. you're an idiot. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you guys seem so close to each other. You're an idiot, they screw me over. Uh, yeah, that's all a mask. We really don't like each other at all. It's, uh... <laughs> I play Sophie. I am the girl who changes things for Blaine's character. I see, so you're gonna steal his heart and... Just smash it into little pieces. <laughs> Here's what I think. I think that at some point in your life, you had this image of what cool is. So you do your best impression and people actually buy it. Yeah. So is this movie about like karma, like what goes around comes around? I think in a way, I think in a way it is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, about, thank you, you want to hold that for me? Thank you. No, I got it. I can hold my little furry guy here. Uh, I think so. I think it's about um, how often in the single life we... Uh, lie without really lying, but, you know, uh, try to avoid true emotional connections all the time, and uh, how sometimes that um, that can come back and bite you, you know? That's awesome. And Mr. Thanks. Star is playing your best friend? Yes, this is Martin Starr. Hey. And the truth is, the most important relationship in this movie is the friendship. You want this guy's chick? I do, yeah. Okay, listen. You hooked up with her in the bathroom, right? Then you think... She goes home and hooks up with Julius tonight? Is that what you think happens? You think she's that girl? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't really know her that well, but... You did that. You are that guy. So how did this movie came about? Um, well, it's a, it's a script that I've had for uh, about six years, I guess, and I was trying to get it going. Uh, so you wrote it, right? I wrote it, yeah, and I was trying to get it financed uh, three years ago, I guess, and instead I made this movie Weather Girl. That kind of came together. But once Weather Girl did well, this was the next thing that we wanted to make, uh, Secret Identity, my company. And so we, uh, we raised the financing for it, and we made it. Now you also said that you did pretty much your own casting, so how did you end up choosing all these uh, amazing, talented actresses <laughs> and actors? Um, well, luck, reason. you know, and um, we, we have a casting director, Lauren Bass, and uh, she was back in Los Angeles, and we were in Louisiana where we shot the film for, uh, for a long time for prep, and uh, we were just, I mean, it was hard. We went through tons and tons of actors trying to find people that can bring um, not only, you know, the skill and the talent, but also the personality and, and build this, you know, this amazing cast. And, like, in addition to the people sitting here, we've got Patrick J. Adams and John Michael Higgins and Jamie Presley and right. Dave Foley, like a really great cast of people who uh, work together in this ensemble way that, you know, I'm certainly really proud of. When is the movie coming out? We're not sure yet. We're still looking for distribution. This is actually our world premiere, so oh, this will be the first time that anyone outside of the cast and crew have seen the movie, so uh, it's about time for me to start getting nervous about that part of it. Well, I think one, one great thing about this movie is that if you've ever been single for any length of time, you can relate to one or two characters in this movie. It's, it's a very real look at dating and uh, being single and love and romance, and uh, um, I think people are really going to like it. Thank you guys. 
go see the movie. For a guy whose longest relationship was less than a year, you really seem to think you have it figured out. I do have it figured out, and that's exactly why my longest relationship was less than a year. You leaving? You know the rules. Why do you think I have this string of short-term flings? Why would I sign up for a relationship and all the sacrifices that come with it? Why are you here? Wow, you're really horrible. If I know that in six months I could be completely over the whole thing. Hey, bang that blonde once for me. There is no woman in the world so perfect that you cannot get over her in six months. That's my book, and you're looking at my book, and I thought that was cool. Can we get drunk? No. Yes. Slightly. I met this girl today who was amazing. She's smart, like savvy. You and me, we got like a spooky synchronicity going on. I don't know what that means. There's a girl that you date, and then there's the perfect girl. The perfect girl, she makes you nervous, unsure of yourself. Who wants that kind of hassle, right? Hi. Hi. Well, I seem to be in the way. Is that Tyler Watts? World famous photographer at my party? You and him. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. I hate this guy. You don't know me, Tyler. I think we know each other pretty well. I think I'm in love. Stop it. No. I can trust you. You are so totally wrong for me. You are perfect for me. Tell me that you love him. Tell me you love him and I'll walk away right now. You have all these rules and theories about life. You wanna hear one of my rules? Probably not. Don't date guys like you. That's a dumb rule. <laughs>